so I got discharged just today. Um, I was allowed to be in the car the whole time, um, and I was allowed to go to come back home, which is now in 45 minutes away from me from San Francisco. The car ride was definitely nauseating, but I do get motion sickness. Yeah, please. With chips. Um, it was definitely getting uh, accustomed to being home and not being able to do, you know, simple tasks. Uh, um, bleeding from my phallus and my testicles has gone down. Not that much bleeding, um, but I still have to keep it propped up. Still changing the gauze. I have taken myself off of the narcotics or, or the, you know, the heavy pain pills because I want to not strain myself so much, like not have to not go to the restroom. So I'm taking extra Tylenol, one pill. Let's see how that goes with pain. I just took one like about 15 minutes ago. So we'll see how that goes. Um, any pain that I'm having so far is on my arm my thigh which is where I got the skin graft from uh, and I, get, I feel these spasms in my bladder and in my phallus whenever the my bag is moved one thing that I'm trying to do is drink a lot of water but with that comes the bag getting filled up quicker and I have to constantly walk so I didn't walk yesterday I mean I walked yesterday at the hospital so I did a lap I don't know if I, uh, I've already said that and it was good but um, today, I walked for 10 minutes, not consecutively, five minutes here, took a little break, and then five minutes again, um, trying to remember myself to sit up, stand up straight and not like hunch over because you know, you feel that pain. I got some hand um, exercises that I can do for now. Um, so I'm just doing... It really hurts when I move my thumb because I keep forgetting to do my thumb. I just do my fingers. Um, but when I move it, I feel like the whole pain down my arm. It's pretty painful. I'm not gonna lie. But also, I'm a big baby, so mm. between pain between one to ten, I would say when I do move my arm and I get those random pains, I'll say that it goes from like. Z zero or one because I feel that stretchiness to seven but it's like that shot that's like ah this is how my arm looks I think I've already shown it best thing that I found that helps me out is being completely naked naked on my I have some pads on my recliner um they're like puppy pads but uh and so then I put gauze under my balls uh, in between my like butt and my balls I guess and then in between my balls and my penis and then I prop it up with uh, the roll gauze so and then I cover it with a washcloth because uh, my doctor told me to make sure the area is warm and make sure that the penis is warm so I like to touch it and then I have like a blanket covering but because I do get overheated I just prefer to stay naked and then I have like another to sleep because when I sleep my apartment gets cold I have another blanket to cover like my chest and sleep so I'm officially one week post-op um, bleeding from my phallus has slowed down or they're, they're just, it's not bleeding as much. The main bleed that I get, which isn't so bad, um, it's between my phallus and my scrotum. So, um, hopefully that stops here soon. I mean, it's diminishing as time goes by. So hopefully, you know, it gets to the point where there's no more bleeding. Um... I am getting up and walking in five minute increments. It just sucks carrying like my catheter and the little wound back. And I'm due for my pill. 
so right now what I'm feeling is just my arm hardened a lot like by the wrist area um, and then I just feel my thigh I don't feel any pain whatsoever down there the only time I feel pain is when I have to use the restroom uh, number two because number one I'm wearing a catheter so I just it just goes when I go number two I feel a little pain and that's I think it's because you know I'm sitting down and my testes are hovering over and then I don't know what to do with my penis well I just with the gauze I let it rest on the toilet seat um, but I think it hurts because of the vet vaginectomy site so um, smell wise I've been able to take a bath with these little towels so I don't smell myself anymore so that kind of helps out a lot the only smell that I s smell down there is just blood blood um, other than that everything is going well so we'll see how it goes later on. So today was my first post-op appointment. And it definitely did not go as expected. Um, I got my catheter back taken out. And I got... Let me see if I can show. I got this thing put instead. Which means when my bladder gets full and I feel like I have to go pee... I just move this little server thing up, pointing the two, and then P comes out. Um, so that's definitely something I was not expecting. I also got my vacuum taken off, which I was not expecting that. I don't know if you can see how little bruised my arm is, slashed the cut right there. Um... He said, Dr. Safer said that the vacuum gets taken off between 11 and 14 days post-op. Um, and my second post-op appointment was going to be like 19 days later. So he said that wasn't no good. And since I was at 11 days, I might as well take it off. So I'm going to start changing my dressings two days from today. So I will do a, a video with that. Um... I gotta say that my first impression from seeing my arm, I couldn't believe it was my arm. People say sometimes that that's something that happens to them. I didn't think it was gonna happen to me, but it happened to me. Um, it wasn't that bad, but what got to me was my wrist. Seeing the dip on my wrist, like, I just... I couldn't look at it. I had to close my eyes and look away. I just couldn't. But um, I am looking forward to dressings and trying to get this car as less noticeable as possible, like as I tried with my top surgery scar. So we'll see what I can do. But I plan on getting a tattoo a year later. But we'll see. Um, and that's where I'm at, I think. Um... Something different that Dr. Safer told me that has not been said is um, when I'm walking, I've read in the past that even while you're walking, you're supposed to add some sort of support to the phallus. But he told me not to worry about it, just to put a gauze in between my scrotum and my penis, and that should be fine. I just added a little tiny support, but not too, too much. Like, it was still hanging. Um, but that's something different. He said he wanted to try that new. But And then when I sat down, he said I didn't have to prop it up. That I could just let it rest between my thighs. And since I have thunder thighs, that ain't no problem. But, you know. Um, so that's something different that he told me. And he told me it was different than from what they've done in the past as well. So we'll see how that goes. Um, pain medications, I'm just on Tylenol and the pills for my bladder spasms. When peeing out of this thing, I forgot to mention, you don't feel anything until you're about to be over. And when you're done and the stream kind of like starts cutting off, you just feel these extreme spasms and like, I feel it in my penis. I told Dr. Say for that and he said that it's normal. 
that I don't have any real sensation yet on the actual penis, but because it's connected to my bladder, that it's sending like little things, I don't know, that I feel it in my penis when it's actually in my bladder. Um, oh, what was mentioned is that I may get a call between now and my second post-op. If I, when I get that call, he's going to tell me if I am going to move forward with the peeing trials. I may start peeing through my penis before my post-op, which he also said that was different. Um, but, or I may wait till my post-op, my second one, to try to pee out of it. So we'll see if there's any update. I'll do a video and then I'll explain how that went but other than that that's all i got and i'll see you next time